Because we don't understand fashion, you will say that it's madness. No, it's not madness. It's creativity. DJ Papa Rich. All right, people, welcome to the channel. My name is DJ Paco Rich, and today we are here to have some exciting conversation. Yes, um, last week I spoke about photography, and this week we'll definitely have to speak about something very interesting. So, we are here to talk about fashion. Personally, I'm not a fashion person, I'm not too much into fashion i don't have so much knowledge into fashion so uh, i have a very beautiful sister here her name is akosia akosia simply means a beautiful lady born on sunday in ghana so i'm here to have a conversation with her um there is a picture that came up on social media um he's a model he's a creative person and a lot of people are you know sharing their opinions about how he's taking his fashion style and all that but it looks like akosia has a different you know view about the whole thing how people perceive to see that style of fashion to be madness she has a different opinion about it so i'm going to bring her on the show so that we have a very good discussion about fashion is it madness or is it creativity but before we do that i will show you a video of this gentleman that we are talking about but let me introduce akosia to you akosia how are you doing hello i'm great how about you i'm doing very well here so um my name is dj paco rich and then i do this mostly i have a lot of audience in nigeria south africa kenya we speak about um stuffs that are more related to people living in africa we share stuffs about creative stuffs photography music and entertainment so you're welcome to our platform Okay, thanks for having me. I'm also Akosi Adobia, CEO of Limeos Fashion. Mm. I'm a fashion designer mm. and a creative director in Limeos Fashion House. Yeah, I'm a stylist and at the same time a concept illustrator. So that's what I do for a living. Thank you. All right, people. So before we continue with the conversation, I'm going to show you the video that generated all this controversy on social media. The young man is called Odi Black. He's a graduate from the University of Cape Coast, and this is his staff. Um, I would have to take off the sound because of copyright reasons, and um, so this is Odi Black in your shots. He calls his, himself the fashion economist and uh, like you can see on his head that's some condom wrapped on the hair the spoon at s sunglasses or something i don't know what it's all about maybe since we have a fashion expectation she would explain stuffs to me and so there's another stuff from oldie black and some of us who do not understand fashion term also to we see this as madness but Akosia seems to understand him very well, so we'll definitely talk to Akos so that she explains how these things work. Why somebody has to go into you know this level of fashion and all that. I'll be dropping his other pictures too. So Akos, I'm yes, sure guys. you have a lot of explanation to our viewers about why would anybody go into this kind of fashion? It looks like a mad person to be precise, but you understand this style of fashion more. So we would yeah. like to hear your explanation when it comes to this level of fashion. Okay. Um, uh, sorry. Um, there's no madness. Okay. okay all together we have experts of fashion that's why i commented and i suppose and i was like before he did it he had a, a concept backing what he showcased let's take for instance he can't wear this to the bank he can't yeah. wear it to the check but he did it for with the condoms and the spoon that he's having on right now 
he is trying to talk to the this thing in a different way to the public in a different way we communicate to the public the public um individually in so many ways so let's say for instance anybody who sees a condom knows about sex education mm -hmm. and in a way he's trying to communicate in that form and the concept that he is portraying he has something behind it before he did it do you get what i'm saying yes that's why i came to comment that in fashion we have something called concept illustration mm. and what he is wearing right now is a stage wear. he can't wear it anywhere like to church no it's not done anywhere before you go out or step out you take things into consideration we call it cows the color occasion weather and the style so right now the style that he is portraying is a stage wear. The main reason why people are telling it to be madness is that uh, why is this guy wearing this right now? Can he take it to church? No. No, it's not possible. I'm not saying that their opinion or what they are raising is wrong. No, that's their opinion because they don't understand fashion. The picture you just posted beside me right now yeah. is having charcoal and like something yellow. It's nature. Do you get it? Yeah. It's trying to um, portray something different about nature altogether. And he's trying to communicate to us. It's a stage where this mm. one, you can't wear it anywhere. Where is he taking it to? He just made a photo shoot to show the creativity aspect of fashion. Because we don't understand fashion, we will say that it's madness. No, it's not madness. It's creativity. Portray some past acts, the concepts behind it. And he will be the best person to explain his concepts. I saw that he has sewn some pockets all together and i was trying to understand it the way he was working with the trouser like with the pockets and others so that it looked like a net something we have this mesh mesh material fabric all together yeah. but he was able to create something out of it the condoms is about sex education automatically mm. he's trying to tell you that yes he's protecting his, the way that he has held it with his wig his hair do you get it he's yeah. trying to protect an aspect of his head so you have to put on condoms before you do what you have sex in a way he's trying to educate the public with fashion indirectly that is mm. how it is done so you shouldn't tell me that fashion is madness no all right Beautiful anything delivery. even the glasses that um yeah. Harper, you are wearing right now yeah the designer had a concept behind it mm. before it came out uh -huh. yeah. so anything that you wear even what i'm wearing right now the designer had a concept behind it before it came out do you get it oh, that's okay. why i i think recently i saw a lady she did a photo shoot with um pots yeah they sprayed the pots into blue with some metallic spoons and other stuff yeah. why didn't we say that that's one is madness did uh -huh. we also understand that thing it was a birthday shoot yeah i saw uh, a post like that yeah so there oh, is some, you, are, you are about to say something yeah there is something i would like to ask mostly we see some of these stuffs on um those international runway some weird stuffs and all that but it looks like as as africans when the western world or when the white man is doing it we we look a bit very comfortable with it we don't call that as yeah, madness but when we see a black man doing it we are we are in a hurry to tag that person as a as a mad person i have this picture from all the black that i would like to show you and probably you being in that field looking at the picture alone the picture carries a lot of message and this is the picture i don't know if you can read what is on there yeah i can read it it says i don't have fake friends because i don't make friends cobbler pray you understand and yes the and the message itself is complicated personally i don't understand what i just you just read do you mm -hmm. yes i do um can you break it down he, to he, us and then and the representation of how he looks i'm going to put a picture back on screen okay sure okay so he says i don't have fake friends because i don't make friends so um he is trying to communicate us in a way that um friends are most Names and, and fake friends to be precise, precise. You get it. So if he doesn't make friends at all, to even come and get fake friends, the market area with this setup is the public. 
Mm. Okay. Mm. It's a public space that he is in. Totally, you can make friends. But he doesn't make friends because he don't want to have fake friends. That's the meaning of it. So this world that we are in, you are nice to everybody. You think that you let everybody into your space. Mm. Parker, do you get it? Yeah, I get you. Yes. You, you might be nice to everybody around you, smile with everybody, but when you get home, you can't call this to be your friend. You can't call this to be like a closest person. Maybe the one or two people you communicate or have those um, conversations with. Please, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, I get so you. So what he's trying to say is, friends might, turn up, might end up to be your enemies. And being fake friends as well is not healthy. So he doesn't make fake friends at all. Mm. And it's good that he'll keep his face that way. Let Even me though show he's you. in a large space, yeah. he's, he's, he's himself. That's it. That's all right. It. Let me show you another picture, which I feel it carries a lot of message. You can see a bag or let's say a suitcase with a mm -hmm. map of the world, the world. covering yeah. his head or his face. Mm -hmm. some some of these things to me it looks a bit spiritual to me and a bit complicated what do you think something like this would you know lead to like what's what's the rational motive behind dressing or you know putting on such costume and taking pictures with it Listen, yeah the bag has a world the world on it mm. it's gone yeah okay let me bring it back for you please a picture yeah yeah thank you so the bag on it and where has he put in the bag his, on head. his head right yes yes <laughs> so the world is on him he he is depicting fashion in a different way he's concentrating yeah. everything do you get it yeah he wants to talk through his pictures with fashion so i don't think that you can term this as madness if All right. you don't understand it you if you go to his page anything that he posts he has explained the concepts over there if yeah. you go and follow him on his page you see that yeah. every single picture that he has posted he has break down everything over there but yeah. the bloggers just took the pictures and communicated it in a different way altogether yeah Do and this it? and this is very scary yeah very scary <laughs> have you seen this or this your first time seeing this no this is my first time it was just yesterday that i went to follow him though oh, okay. i didn't know about him and i just yeah. like the fact that he was trying to communicate fashion in a different way altogether because we as africans the only thing that we know is the kente style bridal style yeah. Ashwabi style yeah. Do you get it yeah. but there's more to fashion than what we know as africans that's why we always criticize our own but if the whites they do it we embrace it yeah. it's about time the education goes far do you get it yeah. fashion edu education goes far that if even if why is it that right now we wear tattered jeans at first we didn't wear that the yeah. tattered jeans that we are wearing at first no it wasn't accepted and so we saw Kanye wearing a tattered shirt, tattered jeans. Then, yo, we had to also start wearing that. No, it's not done anywhere. He had a concept in mind. That very time that they were designing that trousers, I think that they had a mad person in mind. Because tattered things, things that are torn are made for mad people. That's the caption we have in mind as Africans. Yeah. So why didn't we say that the tattered jeans that we are wearing right now, we are all mad, that's why we are wearing it. And why is it that the shades that you are putting on, you don't say that you are mad? Yeah. It's also fashion. Yeah. yeah. So fashion is a broad something altogether. You get it all right and then before before we end the conversation because of our network i wouldn't like to prolong it so much how do you think such a model or such an art person can commercialize what he's doing how can he make money how can he generate revenue for such things i'm sure there are people who have some of these great ideas but they think like yo when i do this stuff how am i going to even get money out of these things it's it's kind of crazy mm -hmm. do you think there are avenues to commercialize such acts 
um i'll say that first of all we have you yourself have to take the bold step because we are in a society that the things that we do we don't know much about it so you have to educate the society first about it i think when the education goes far we'll be able to embrace it and for him to generate money out of it he can use it as a campaign with a campaign he can solicit for fans fans will come in he can organize for a fashion show here in africa then later on you invite people internationally as well to observe what you have your creativity that you have you bring it on board and you explain it to them i think that i didn't know about him it's only yesterday that i heard about him and in a way i'll start following his works and and with that i think i'll also help to also portray such things anytime people come to my fashion house i always tell them that fashion is broad what we are coming to do right now is just sewing but there's more to fashion than what we are doing right now so it's about time to education i'll say that if we get education first we'll then embrace it and from that step by step even i think say yesterday i read some um comments underneath i saw that he started long ago on campus let me and let me let me be very honest with you the mm -hmm. interesting thing about this young man was that we happen to come from the same hometown he's from mm -hmm. mankesim i am from salt pond and then oh. i had seen his pictures somewhere before and i liked it and i saved it on my phone but i i didn't know where he was coming from so mm -hmm. i recently chanced on his page when osibo and ajagraja were doing that kind of competition so i decided to project <laughs> him and to push him out there so i have some huge following on facebook so a lot of people got to know about him so later yes. one of my mates in school told me that this guy you are posting is actually your junior in school we all went to the same school but i never you know knew about him i knew nothing about him so then i had the interest to push him more and then i realized that he he, he likes the um, bit of promoting his arts very well because you know in ghana when you are promoting such things it is very difficult for people to accept it and so exactly. i decided to help in that bit and i think it's catching up and one avenue that i have realized is that there are people who do music videos which lack art direction and this guy yes. is super when it comes to art direction so yes i feel he can create a space in that area in the yes. cinema yes. space in the movie space in the music video yes. space that he will be creating art or he'll be directing certain acts when it comes to fashion in music videos because sometimes yeah. when you look at the costumes and the kind of uh, dressing we Probably portray in our music video yeah. it doesn't look good and when we have people like that he, he, he can actually be the reason that somebody wants to watch this music video exactly exactly yes. Yes. so exactly going most of the music mm -hmm. videos yeah um, they work by concept yes. but at the end of the day the song doesn't go with the concept or the a visuals lot. that they chose a lot so we are there to help them as as a fashion designer as a concept illustrator he is there to concept conceptualize things for them easily to to tell the story easily for them with the costume that he wear with the things that he will bring on set he's there to visualize it for them so i think it's a great thing for us to embrace it we shouldn't say that it's madness he's yes, mad man, oh, no. No, no i mean you see the it's painful thing is that the painful thing is that uh, the people making such comments even do not know his background this guy has completed university of cape coast and you know university of cape coast you know be child play for there if your head no oh, good, yes. you know go feel go <laughs> play for there you understand yes, so true. um true. so we are not I'm saying sir yeah everybody has his or her opinion yeah what you might see to be black i might see it to be sure. white. 
but sure. you shouldn't um use certain words that's why yeah. I, I came in yeah the words that they use wasn't called for yeah. so next time if you don't know something about it oh why is he wearing this you can put it that way or hey right now they are putting condoms in their head why is he doing that she must ask the question and know yeah. what he's trying to communicate to the public do you get it l- 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 it's, it's a broad something yeah it's a broad l- something l- let me I'm, read- not, I'm not fighting against their opinion yeah because in this world we don't we don't have hey <laughs> everything is debatable yeah everything l- let me l- 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 let me read something very i don't know it's very sad somebody came to my post of mm-hmm. you know i posted one of his pictures and then somebody came under it hyping nonsense and foolish things why don't you pick an underground artist and promote him <laughs> and i asked myself is this guy not an artist as well what is your yes. meaning of what like what do you understand by art yeah that's what i was talking about the education aspect of it so i think we have to get more platforms to explain fashion to them the artistry aspect of fashion to them as well because there's more to fashion than the sewing and the branding there's more to fashion than that that's why i'm saying that the education has to go very far the education the fashion education has to go very far yeah. for we the africans and the rest of the world to know much about fashion honestly if i i hadn't gone to school i wouldn't have known about this i could also say yeah. that it's madness yeah. but thanks yeah. me to god i understand it that's why i came in and me cry said i didn't get it easy and that is <laughs> yeah i, I <laughs> can see i can see <laughs> i didn't so, get it easy cry. all right mm. so uh, i can see we've done almost about 20 minutes of conversation i'm thinking i'm sure people are enlightened and we'll definitely be doing this on a regular especially when you come to accra when we have a more stable okay. network and all that but i would like you to put your business contacts and your social media handles out there for people who would like to work with you and next time please bring me some of your works so that we can show you to okay. our audience so that that can attract them more to your you know your point and they'll be working with you and all that so tell them your social okay, media sure. handles and then your goodwill message okay um akosia adobe alien on facebook lemel's fashion on instagram and akosia adobe alien on tiktok yes that's my social media handles and i'll say that there's more to fashion than what we know fashion we are yet to learn more about it we are yet to embrace it as africans we have to love our own whatever we see we shouldn't just judge we have to learn and ask questions for us to be enlightened about it i'll say that what our brother is doing we need to promote him we need to promote him so that he will go far if he goes far as for our good as for us all so i i say that um Paco, thank you very much for this platform for me mm. to express my little knowledge about what our brother is doing i really appreciate it god bless you all all right thank you for your time and thank you for i mean it was on a short notice but you made time for us i know in the books of other ladies once a gentleman approach them in box they think like hey Obe Pemio, he's coming to propose and all that but i mean you were very open-minded and you understood the mission and then you granted us this interview so we really appreciate this and then we okay. hope we'll be doing a lot of this when you come back to Accra. thank you for your time and thank you for speaking thanks to us thanks for having me thank you all right, bye-bye. Bye. DJ Paco Rich. <laughs>